In this video, we are going to take a look at Enzyme, an open source wireless network intrusion detection system. This application will help you to monitor your Wi-Fi network for suspicious activity or attacks on your neighboring wireless environment. I will skip the detailed step of my Raspberry Pi OS installation. Since the documentation was published, the latest version of Debian with Raspberry Pi OS is now bookworm, which is version 12. As a result, some comments need slight adjustments. Here's what I had to change. So when you want to install the enzyme node, here you have the Java development kit and PostgreSQL. So both version changed. For Java, we went from 11 to 17. And now for Postgre, we went from 13 to 15. As the time you are watching this video. So it might change and I suggest you stay tuned to the documentation to see what you need to change in the future. There is a lot of valuable information on Discord and I wanted to thank Niptaev73 for sharing helpful insights regarding the installation on the latest Raspberry Pi OS. The first issue was with the version changes. Since this post, the version have already been updated. I have shared with you that earlier. No, the second issue came during the initial node startup and you might encounter a similar error. And this happened with the PostgreSQL version 5 and plus so it was really here for us it will notify you that you do not have permission to create anything in the public schema unless you explicitly grant this permission this means no it's necessary to grant permission for a particular user before we focus on my portable wireless intrusion detection system, let me introduce the benefit of this story today. It has kickstarted the channel, the Flipper Zero and its dev board. It is flashed with the Evil Portal. We will come back to it a bit later. On top of it, there is a Raspberry Pi 5 laying on a SSD. I have chosen to plug an SSD using a USB 3 interface. Even if I don't take advantage of the full speed of the SSD, it will save me a few SD cards because I'm expecting a lot of input output and logs from packet capture will take life of many of those SD card. Above the Raspberry Pi, there is a SCADIS inspired board with feet and a handle. This will make the setup portable and easy to deploy for my test. Here I have even installed a visual signal as a LID. It is installed as a proof of concept. The LID will blink when a bandit is detected in here. In the future, I even want to install a rotating beacon light. I am hosting both the node and the tap on the Raspberry Pi 5 with an alpha wireless network card, AWUS051NHV2. And you can use any Wi-Fi network interface as long it supports monitor mode. Now you know my setup, it's time to create the first administrator user 
np form the initial login we need to set up the administrative account with our name email address and of course a password then there is a QR code to scan with your favorite two-factor authentication application because yes there is a multi-factor authentication setup for this account personally i'm using ot or google authenticator before completing the challenge eight multi-factor authentication recovery codes are provided you should store them in a safe place in case of an emergency such as losing your access to your two-factor authentication device, for instance. If you're looking to disable multi-factor authentication, right now this feature is not available yet. We are logged in with the administrative account we created earlier. I remind you, this video is a brief introduction and you might find new feature or different interface at the time you're watching this video. Here, I really want to show you all the predefined built-in bandits available in the monitoring section. But wait, what are the bandits, Sam? We describe a bandit as any malicious Wi-Fi device you want to be alerted about if it's appear in the range of your setup. Detecting a bandit is based on its fingerprints and Enzyme comes with many default bandit configuration that identify most common Wi-Fi attack platforms. Like our Flipper Zero for this demonstration, Alert will automatically trigger when a bandit is detected in range. This is exactly what I was looking for to trigger the light you saw earlier. The proof of concept is a short Python script and it's available on my GitHub.